Okay. So uh, today we'll talk about uh, love in communication. I called it that way because I want to try to convince you that if you want to love, you have to learn to communicate. And uh, usually when people see a fat guy like me trying to convince them to communicate, that uh, it sounds like what, the, what this fat guy can teach me about it. But I want to convince you that communicating is really loving. If you are not able to communicate, you won't be able to love. Uh, people, there are people who are additive, people who add to each other. And there are people who are subtractive, they take from each other. Like if you add, we call it synergia. That means that one and one makes more than two. But there are people that one and one makes less than a zero. So uh, what I want to, uh, to, to uh, try to teach you now is that in order to love, you have to accept. You have to, to take the, the, your, your loved one as he is and not try to change. Maybe 90% of people who marry, when they, are, when they wed, they think, okay, I'm going to change him. He is going to be completely different. And this is not true. And loving means accepting each other. And as I tell it, you, you love even though, and not because. Because the becauses will go away, and the even those will stay. Uh, we have to remember that, that we are what we are because of our imperfectness, because of the holes inside. A Swiss cheese would be, wouldn't be Swiss cheese without, without the holes. It will be just regular cheese. My wife loves me even though I became fat. I was an athlete. I am sure you cannot tell as I look now, but she loves me the way I do even though I became fat. I'm losing my hair. The hair that I'm losing is now in my ears and in my nose. So, so, and, and she loves me even though. And they, this is what makes me Swiss cheese for her or sweetheart uh, as it might be. There are three ways of uh, communicating. The first one is the aggressive. The second one is the passive. And the, the, the one that I want to talk about today is the assertive. And, and we, we heard about it, but I want to uh, speak about it in the, in the loving sense of, uh, of assertiveness. Now, now what is uh, aggressive? This is aggressive. Aggressive is shouting at each other, accusing, uh, you don't listen. You, sometimes he won't listen because you don't talk. But the, the, the accusing finger, and, and then look at the, at, at the accusing finger. Three fingers are going towards you. Just one points to the other one, and one points to God, so this is bad luck. So, but, but aggressiveness is about shouting. But many times it's not shouting. I had a couple who were sitting in my, uh, in my, uh, uh, in my room, and he was uh, talking, and she was quiet. And then he said, all of a sudden, shut up! Stop it! And she didn't say a word. <laughs> now, now when, I, when I went deep in, deeper into it, it, she developed a very fine way of shouting. She shouts with no words. She shouts, she does like when he says something that is not... A, uh, in her, uh, she doesn't like what he said. She makes like a, <clears throat> and I did it very strong. She makes such a, a, a tiny <clears throat> that even <laughs> dogs, very very trained dogs, are not able to hear it. But she, but he is very sensitive to that, and this is a way, her way of shouting at him. Now, passive. This is passive. Passive is, is li like not doing anything. It's like, let's keep it quiet. Let's let, let keep the flame uh, not burning. Let's, let's don't talk about it. Uh, tomorrow it will be over. I had a couple that every time he wanted to have sex with her, and every time uh, she would go uh, to sleep before him or after him. So he found himself in the morning sleeping without having, making love to her. So one day he decided that he will sleep across the bed. And, uh, and that way, there won't be any chance that she won't wake him up while coming to bed. In the morning, he found her lying across the bed near him. So this is passive. And then they came to therapy. So passive is, is a very 
is a very a bad way. And the, the, the worst thing is passive aggressive. Passive aggressive is like killing you softly. It's like hurting you without leaving marks. It, those are the people, we call it the Polish way. The husband comes, comes home and he finds his wife like that. After a couple of moments, he asks, uh, what's the matter, dear? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> the nothing has to be very, very small. Nothing. And then he say, so why are you mad? I'm not mad. <laughs> this is a system called, we call it the, in the Polish way, you should think what you did and you can sh think on a punishment. That means you have to figure out what you did and you're going to pay dearly for what you did and I personally don't know what you did but I'm just thinking about it so I can punish you. Passive aggressive is a way that many couples use to, each, to eat each other's liver slowly, slowly and gradually making them rotten okay, as a, as a couple. And the third way, which I want to suggest right now, is the assertive way. The assertive is the, the same hand, instead of accusing you, coming to you, saying things, listening, taking you as you are, asking for things, asking you to teach me. I don't understand. I know that I am a bum. But please teach me. I'll try slowly, slowly. I can study and, and I can learn to love you and to be loved by you. This is a way of communicating. The assertive person will leave a note to his loved one in the refrigerator. Something like, my love to you is burning. So I put it in the refrigerator <laughs> to cool up. This is a way of using things in a better way. So positive interaction has to deal with how we deal with conflicts, how, how we take in conflicts and how can we make fun of a conflict. Because conflicts can be fun, but, and conflicts can be bloody. And this, and this is our choice of what we do with a conflict. Do you use humor? Do, you, you, do, do we spend time together so we have time to, to do those things? And using humor, and using and giving time together. Men, the most uh, of the couples that I see, the biggest problem they have is that the last thing in the day they, they spend time with is with each other. So they come home. Look how beautiful you came to this TED talk. You have very nice dress. Uh, people with, uh, with hairs uh, put it on the side so we won't see the baldness. Uh, uh, you put the best aftershaves and all the cologne on you. If you see how you look at 2 o'clock at night, the hair is going that way, the, 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 the mascara is just uh, shedding, and, 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 and if you take your trousers, your, 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 your underwear is in one side and one of your testicles is out, and you, you don't look very, very tasty, you're not in a mood to, to have a discussion. It's so, it is so sad that people have time together just with patients, just with customers, and not with each other. And the biggest thing, this is Goodman and Driver, they found out that the most important thing to see if you live together, if you stay together, is if you have time together and what you do with your, your conflicts. If you use the conflicts to grow or you use the conflicts to win. So you win in, the, in, the, in this battle, but you lose in the war. And uh, if we, and, and the same Gutmann and others found out that if you look into old couples who stay together, what, what, what made it, what, what caused it? This is because they had time together and they had humor together. They communicated in a, in a humorous way. In the, 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 the uh, quarrels that they had built them and didn't destroy them. I come from a generation that people don't throw things away. I have the same watch for more than 20 years. 
and the, 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 the watch that I got for my bar mitzvah is still working today because I'm, I'm keeping it that way. It is now a day, a, 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 there are times now, that everything is for single use. And this is how people treat it, each other, as a single use. You, they don't think about tomorrow. I just want to win this battle. This is why we, we see more and more young people not having a, a, a relationship and not having a, a loving relationship that they can count on. And the thing is that dating each other, making your loved one like a lover. I'm married for 25 years and I try hard because I see so much couples that they destroy their lives. I try every day to make my wife happy. I know that every day can be the last one. And every day I try to make her laugh. I try to do something to keep her happy because I know it is illogical to stay married to a bum like me. So I try to compensate in, in advance for this loving and, 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 and caring relationship that I have with her. And this is because I, I studied her and she taught me how to, how to handle her. And this is what I want to talk with you in a minute. Communication. Just 7% is spoken. All the rest are faces or gestures. You have to learn to decipher that and you have to, learn, and you have to teach what you, what you mean by that. And this goes especially to you girls. We cannot decipher you. You are very, very... In this, it, it, we, we cannot know what you mean. Maybe your girlfriend will, but we, you have to teach us. And if you won't teach us what you mean by, we, we, won't, we, we won't be able to, to decipher it, or we won't hear it just if we, are, if we are lucky. So the you finger, stop using it, stop accusing. You don't have to hurt me in order to teach me. You don't have to stab me in order so I, so I listen. If you want that I listen, talk. Sometimes you don't use words and we cannot decipher what you want. So please teach us what you want. And I want to go into, into what to do about it. You have to make time. In English, you make time. You take time. This is an active way of doing things. It's not that you have time. You, you don't have time. We are very much preoccupied with all kinds of things. But we have to make time. And we have to write a user manual. If you have a smartphone, if you own a smartphone, or a laptop, or everything, a sophisticated washing machine, it has something like hundreds of things inside that if you won't read the user manual, you won't know about it. Most of the people that have a very good washing machine are using just one or maybe two programs out of 30. They are, you just use the, 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 for the cotton, the white ones, uh, and the, all the others. And this is how our, our laundry looks like. Ugh. Okay? But if you have used the 30 uh, programs that they are there, if you would read the fucking when it's, it's called, then you will have a better chance of taking from this washing machine what you can take out. And this is about your, your, your Apple or your Android. If you would just read what's inside, you'd be amazed of the things it can do. But many of us just use a little tiny percent of that, and this is very, very sad. You have to teach and you have to get the user manual of your loved ones. You have to write it. But the meanest, despicable thing is to use this manual that I gave you out of love against me. This is what Delilah did for, to Samson. He gave her, eventually, he tried all kinds of, of phony user manuals, but eventually he gave her the user manual. And she did the most despicable thing. He, she used it against him. So the, the thing is that in order to give this user manual, you first have to know what is the user manual that you use. What are the things that are no absolutely no. What are, there are people that you cannot talk about their brother, the brother-in-law, the, the, you cannot talk about her mother, but the thing is that you have to learn 
is that using a user manual is a very good way of having a good relationship. So you have to learn how to quarrel. You have to learn what are things that can make me happy and what will make me sad. And you have to, you, to use this user manual and, and you have to listen. You have to listen to your love. You have to listen to your loved one. We have two ears and one mouth in order to listen twice than to talk. In, around here we can take out an ear and put another mouth because we talk much more than we will, than we will listen and we have to listen. So I want to convince you to write your own user manual and to give it, to give it away as an act of love. And I want to finish with those three words, yes, we can. Yes in English is yes, we is in French, yes, and can is in Hebrew, yes. So yes, we can. Yes, you can do it. You can make time as you came here. You didn't came here by, <laughs> look, there is TED Talk in, in BGU. You, you had cards, you had to invite a place. You didn't come by chance, so make time. The thing is to tell, tell what you want. Ask, tell and ask is the most important thing in a loving relationship. Listen, listen because listening, the art of listening is what I made a fortune out of. The most of the things that I will do is I say, mm-hmm. And from this mm-hmm, I built a house and raised up four children. It is so sad that no one listens and people pay me so I will listen to them. You can listen and you can talk and someone will listen just for free. And you have to love, make love. This is an active act. Yes, we can. Thank you.